हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज भरत एंड मीना त्रिवेदी वर्षा एंड दिलीप सपना एंड गौरव लाल सुवर्णा एंड मनोज खड़ी इलांगा सेजल देसाई स्मिता एंड विवेक चौधरा अंजलि देसाई दीपक अरोरा पवन एंड रिंकी अग्रवाल सेड एंड अर्चना नायर डैनी एंड रिंकू मेहता मीना एंड सुनील खियानी Priyanka and Vinay Kheria I'm Johnny Jenkins here in Fincher Raj and Aradhna Asawa together we support Hunger in Town Good afternoon friends here we are Raj and Aradhna Asawa welcoming you to the Hunger Meet Out segment on Fun Asia Through this radio show we raise awareness about the rampant hunger issue right here in North Texas and even across North America and share ways in which each one of us in the spirit of give where you live can and is making a difference welcome to the show please visit ntfb.org/iac to learn how hunger mitao a purely volunteer movement made up of each one of us helps north texas food bank in its fight against hunger in north texas again friends the website is ntfb dot o r g slash i a c. So Aradham, let us start today's show by sharing something from Feeding America. Sure. The COVID nineteen pandemic has thrown our nation into a crisis of epic proportions. Mm. Everyone, everywhere, is feeling the impact, the effects. For the thirty seven million people who were already struggling with hunger before the pandemic, it is harder than ever. to meet their daily needs and i don't mean the wants just the needs for tens of millions more people who joined them since the pandemic job losses school closures and health expenses mean a devastating new reality not knowing where they will get their next meal is their paramount challenge yes for feeding america's network of 200 food banks The pandemic is an unfortunate perfect storm. More people need food assistance than ever before in the network's history. Food donations dried up suddenly. Social distancing and shelter in place orders upended their food distribution model and resulted in the sudden loss of 2 million volunteers. Wow. Wow. It was the volunteers that was the lifeblood that kept the cost so down. Right? Yeah. Well, thanks to the exceptional generosity of partners like each one of you, our listeners, struggling families had somewhere to turn. Your help made it possible for the Feeding America network of food banks to respond quickly, to make new connections in the supply chain, and to innovate new and safer food distribution methods and models. With your support, food banks responded with strength speed and resilience to feed their communities in the face of incredible challenges right when people needed the most and raj today is a special day yeah tell us more it's the epic north texas giving day wow that one day where Well, 18 hours all of north texas comes out to give wow so this 18 hour online event mm-hmm. hosted by communities foundation of texas good friend of ours great friends uh uh-huh. it helps build awareness and support for nonprofits in north texas mm-hmm. you remember last year yeah yeah so 2019 saw 50 million dollars raised by the north texas community right benefiting 3000 local nonprofits and, th- and that is a uniqueness i love this ab- about this model is that there are so many nonprofits out there they mm-hmm. all come under one umbrella thanks yeah. to cft on one platform yes. cft makes giving so easy it does right um so today i checked just before we started the show guess what we we still have all day yeah to give until 11 Or midnight. Midnight, I think. Twenty-six million dollars has already been raised. Wow, wow! And tell me, Aradna, who is number one? Who is getting on the leaderboard? Yep. Number one, as you can all imagine and agree, mm-hmm. food is the biggest need right now. Right. One million and fifty thousand dollars have already been raised 
on North Texas Giving Day for, for North Texas Food Bank. Wow, great job. Thank clearly, you all. clearly the North Texas community realizes the need for food assistance in these dire times. So listeners, if you haven't had a chance to participate in this phenomenal day of giving where you live, please visit NorthTexasGivingDay.org to make your mark. That's right. Yeah, and you, or you can always go to ntfb.org slash IAC and you'll find a link there to make an impact on today's giving day. I can imagine the tears of gratitude in the eyes of so many people for the way the community is stepping up and supporting their own. You know, during this unique environment, the food bank distribution model had to change on a dime. Several pantries had to cease or suspend operations due to the pandemic. These closures meant that food banks now are assuming the food distribution responsibilities, which typically was carried out by partner agencies. And that also means the related expenses of staffing and transportation has to be borne by the food bank. One of the recipients said, I'm a single mother and I just lost my job due to coronavirus. I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent. Thank God for the food bank. At least I don't have to worry about food. Every car in the miles long food lines has a unique story to tell my friends. Absolutely. I was reading a Feeding America report today. It said that experts expect this need to persist. Feeding America projects that the pandemic will disproportionately impact people already at risk of hunger and could result in an estimated additional 17.1 million people experiencing food insecurity. Wow. That's an increase of 46 percent. Hmm. Food banks are taking exceptional measures to evolve operations rapidly, even though it comes at increased cost but they're doing so to continue to safely distribute meals. Many are operating drive throughs whereby people in need can pull up their car for a volunteer to load an emergency food box in their trunk. Partners are helping provide space and volunteer support to enable this new model. And, and Aradna, it's not a secret, right? No, it's We no have all, all seen this on national TV. Yeah. And actually, I don't believe a day or a week goes by where we are seeing those long lines, the parking lots filled up and people waiting for hours to drive up and get a box of food that can help them. Yeah. So the, the report also said that food banks are tapping new supply sources. This is interesting. Perishable products from the food service industry is now our greatest opportunity and industry experts believe this will remain so at least through the summer. When restaurants, schools, and colleges, college cafeterias uh, are closed, demand for the food normally sold to these entities disappeared almost overnight. Food banks began working with industry suppliers right away to capture this product. So yeah. I love that innovation. Innovation across the board. Yes. Also, as per the report, a large percentage of the people Feeding America's network currently serves are accessing the system for the first time in their lives. That is we all know that. Yeah. In some ways, food insecurity has been slightly mitigated by both the federal stimulus checks and enhanced unemployment insurance. But once both of those sources dry up and with a low likelihood of any more federal aid, food insecurity is going to get significantly worse not better. Beginning to reopen the economy will not end the food insecurity crisis anytime soon, unfortunately. But Aradna, our listeners, supporters of Hunger Mittal are deeply aware of this issue. That is evident by how the Indian American community rises to help North Texas Food Bank time and time again to ensure that food reaches out to everyone who is in need. Friends, while there is more work to do, your generosity has 
help provide stability while fueling innovation. It has helped North Texas Food Bank create new ways of providing more food to increasing number of people who are in need. And, if, and it has provided hope at a time of tremendous fear and uncertainty. The stories heard in the food lines are stunning. Some people are at their wits end. Many say, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. Friends, food is one of the first costs people skimp on to try and stay afloat amid turbulent financial straits. And one of the last basic needs to recover once a crisis eases. Hmm. What someone spends on food is something that is elastic as opposed to your rent is your rent, said Elaine Waxman, senior fellow at the Income and Benefits Policy Center at the Urban Institute. That deprivation can have lasting effects. Trouble getting enough food to eat can lay the foundation for chronic illness and reduced health outcomes later in life. Around the nation, more than four out of 10 people who sought help from food pantries were new and needed services as a result of COVID-19, according to Feeding America. That's a large number. It is. Experts say they foresee a real uptick in food insecurity and need for months, if not years. Remember, it took Americans a decade to recover from food insecurity brought on by the Great Recession of the last century. And, and many experts are comparing the COVID um, environment mm -hmm. to the Great Recession. Well, I think the Great Recession, the Great Depression, whatever the term is, I tell you, Aradna, I have actually read information that this crisis surpasses even that. Right? So unfortunate. So unfortunate. But our mission, friends, is hunger mitau. And hunger mitau is as much about eradicating hunger as it is about unifying the fragmented efforts of our community, focusing it on the humanitarian cause of hunger. So let all of this uh, depressing stuff not depress us. Let's find strength. Let us come together as the entire Indian American community and show how any place we call home benefits from our presence. Just like we did, Aradna. We I have mean, been doing if it. If you look at Hunger Mitau Month, we haven't shared that with our listeners. But since the pandemic, right, the Indian American community here in North Texas alone has enabled 3 million meals. That is just, phenomenal. Just from the pandemic, just this early part of the year. And the Hunger Mitau Month, where we had set a goal for fifty thousand mm dollars -hmm. in the month of August, you know, last year the goal was about twenty-five, and we were somewhere near thirty. This year we upped the goal to fifty thousand, and the community came in at roughly fifty-five thousand dollars. It's so, a testimonial yeah. to the generosity of the Indian American community. So let us come together as the entire Indian American community and show how any place we call home benefits from our presence. We are smart, compassionate change agents who give where we live, so our communities benefit. From our presence. So until next week, friends, remember, we may never be able to eradicate hunger, but let us ensure no one goes hungry. Hello friends, this is Bharat and Meena Trivedi. Varsha and Dilip. Sapna. And Gaurav Lal. Subarna. Aurya. And Manoj Khadi. Ilanga. Sejal Desai. Smita. And Vivek Chaudha. Anjali Desai. T. And Deepak Arora. Pawan. And Rinki Agrawal. Sid. And Archana Nair. Danny. And Rinku Mehta. Meena. And Sunil Kiani. Priyanka. And Vinay Kheria. I'm Johnny Jenkins. Aaron Fincher. Raj. And Aradhna Asava. Together, we support... Hunger